patterns in successive ionization energies. Here we have a graph showing the successive ionization energies for aluminium, atomic number 13. On the y-axis, we have the ionization energy, which is the energy required to remove an electron from a gaseous atom, and that's in kilojoules per mole. On the x-axis, we have the ionization number. So let's take a look at this graph. We start off by removing electron 1, 2, and 3. These three electrons are in the valence shell. Aluminium has three electrons in its valence shell. So these electrons, they are relatively easy to remove. It doesn't take a lot of energy to remove these. The reasons for this, the first reason is because they are far from the nucleus. So you have a, a weaker electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and these electrons. And you also have electron shielding. So between these electrons and the nucleus, there are shielding electrons, which results in a weaker electrostatic attraction. So next we have this increase in ionization energy. And the reason for this is we have removed the three outer electrons from the third main energy level. And we are now removing electrons from the second main energy level. It's closer to the nucleus. So there's a stronger electrostatic attraction. So increased ionization energy. As the electrons are being removed from the second main energy level, you can see that the ionization energy increases. That's because the number of protons is remaining constant, but the number of electrons is decreasing. So the protons have more of a pull on the remaining electrons. So next we see this big jump in ionization energy. And the reason for this is because the electrons from energy level two have all been removed. So we are now removing electrons from energy level one. Energy level one is much closer to the nucleus and there's a much stronger electrostatic attraction between the positive nucleus and the negative electrons. So these two electrons are being removed from energy level one. Like I just mentioned, it's closest to the nucleus, so therefore requires much more energy to remove. So electrons further from the nucleus are easier to remove. Inner electrons require more energy to remove and electrons closest to the nucleus require the most energy to remove. And the reasons for this, as you get closer to the nucleus, you have the increasing electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and the electrons, and you get reduced electron shielding. 